Hey everybody, welcome to Thrill Thrifter. My name is Julie, and this morning, it's morning for me, it's probably afternoon for you, but we're gonna head into the Salvation Army. I never come into the Salvation Army early in the morning, but I just had to drop my high school daughter off at a class. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find anything worth picking up today. So let's go. All right, I'm gonna go to the back first today. Let's see what they got. See if they got anything really new out. Look at these I spotted in there, already sold. I wonder how much those were. Beautiful. They're so pretty. All right, and then look at this sofa. It is $249, but I like that. It's very clean, very cottagey looking too, I like it. And then look at these two chairs. They're sold also. That one's broke, but I guess somebody's gonna try and fix it. Beautiful chairs. This is why you have to get here early because you just never know what they have. All right, I'm gonna come over here and take a peek at the linens because this is where I found that tablecloth that I'm gonna use as a shower curtain that I still have not put up yet. <laughs> I wanted to see if they still had a quilt in here that I saw probably a month ago. It's probably not here, but I'm gonna dig through this Look and see if I see any curtains because I do need some curtains and just take a peek around, see if they got anything new. Their, their store here is not real good about turning over merchandise really fast like at Goodwill. So that's why I don't come here that often. Like these are these were here last time I was here and that was a month ago. Their prices are really good, but they just don't turn over a lot of their stuff. So let's just see what they got. Okay, I don't see it, which I kind of felt like that. I'm gonna pick up these little scrap pieces that all fell and let's go over to another section. First, I just spotted something. Look at this book. Oops, I grabbed two of it. Jesus Calling the Story of Christmas by Sarah Young, $1.50. Wow. In case you don't know, I do what we call kick off the Christmas things at Thanksgiving. And this year, I think I'm gonna make baskets. Last year, I did the Polar Express train ride for my daughters who have families and kids. And this year, I think I'm going to do like a movie and book basket or something. So this is a good start to that for $1.50. I think I'm gonna put that in my buggy and see if I can find anything else. Cause I know that this is probably a pretty expensive little book. Make sure it doesn't have any writing or anything in it. And this will be perfect for like the ages of the kids that my daughters have so then look right here betty crocker's christmas cookbook this would be perfect to go in one of those baskets for one of my daughters or i could keep it for myself oh i love this nice 90 i guess this is their prices 99 cents on that book we'll ask and make sure the best of country cooking now you're talking let's see y'all got something good in there just so y'all know i'm down here on the ground like on my knees so i might not be able to get up <laughs> anyway this is where all the good books are and all the cookbooks are here on the bottom then i saw a lot of these little preschool books so i'm gonna sit down here for just a minute and just go through some of these books and i'll let y'all know what i find looking at the pillows and I spotted this it's a lamp but 
don't know where it's originally from, but it's a beautiful big wooden lamp. And it's only two dollars. And good here we all can see. It looks kind of messed up, but my thoughts are that you could turn this into a big candle holder, maybe. Be beautiful. What do y'all think? I do kind of looked at the furniture. Oh look, they have a little sewing machine over here. Kara was wanting one of these like for a little side table. It's a rug. It's $45. Let's see. Pretty. But we'll look at the sewing machine in just a second. I got completely sidetracked by this. How adorable is this for a dollar? Look at over here where y'all can see it. How country is this and beautiful. I love this. It's got the perfect colors. We're gonna have to think about this for a dollar. Let me see if I can find somewhere in my head that in my house I know I can put it. Lots of pictures. I had spotted that one down there. It kind of looks like a little quilt. It's hard to get to and filming. I'd have to turn the camera off. But some frames. What size this frame is? Elizabeth is needing a frame. Can I pull that out and see how much it is? That frame won't work for what she needs. But look, this is the sewing table. It says as is. $25. Why are you as is? Oh, it does not have the... Um, sewing machine with it. It's a little foot pedal. They still make cute little side tables. It's kind of plain though, this one. Let's see. In the front. Oh, it, okay. Here's the front with the little drawer. It don't open though. These make cute little side tables though. Alright, let's go back over here. Wow, here's a monitor. $14. Hmm. Kelsey needs a printer. You tell her to come up here. $5? <laughs> have to make sure you can get the ink and all, though. Yeah. I'm going to just kind of browse through here, and then I'll take y'all back up to the home decor. Bowling bag. $8.99. Brunswick. If it has a bowling ball in there. I think I've asked y'all this a while back, but yeah. How many of y'all used to bowl? Got all it's got shoes and everything in there. Hmm, that's kind of neat. My husband used to be on a bowling league a long time ago. And over here, there's actually some ink. Wonder if this goes with any of those printers. Two dollars. Wow. And there's some more for two dollars. If you could match these up to one of the printers, you might just have an amazing deal. Let's go. Walking by the air conditioner now, so it'll be loud. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's walk up here to the home decor section and see what we can find up here. Hmm. See, I see a lot of things that are still here. Like, that's still here. Let's see if we can find any new stuff. This is still here. Hmm. Is where I got that set of bowls though and I love those. Let's see if they got anything new out as far as dishes go. These are still here. I'm surprised that these are still here. These are Corel point. Did spot this for 75 cents. Y'all cannot walk away from this rolling pin for 75 cents. I can't. Let's see what else they got over here. What is this? 30 piece piping bag set. Hmm. I love that. Does that talk make baby food or something? $4.99. Oh, wait, look at this. Is this Tupperware? 20 cents. It's a good deal. Bread cover. What in the world? Hold on. Because y'all know I'm making some bread all the time. I have to check into this. I'm 
Okay, so I don't see a lot of new stuff. I did spot this from my little granddaughter, Riley. I don't know if she, I don't know if she would even want that. So I'm gonna wait. Um, I didn't really spot anything too great. These little candle holders are cute. Three for three ninety nine, and that clock is pretty cool. Two ninety nine o'clock and yeah they're just kind of picked over today so might be a shorter trip this is sweet I'll try to get over y'all can see it better little frame and then this one's pretty 50 cents and then they have this little oval one for 20 cents well it's plastic but still it's cute little fall things Okay, I like these. Inside is felt. I don't even decorate for Halloween, y'all, but some of this stuff is so fun. How can you not? Okay, y'all, so this turned out to be a fun little thrifting trip. I didn't get a whole bunch, <laughs> but wait until I show y'all what I got at the very end. They had just rolled a card out, and I don't normally decorate with this kind of stuff, but for $3, I could not resist. So I'm going to show you that last. It is so fun. Let me show you the other things that I got real quick, and then I'm going to plug that other item in and show y'all what it looks like. <laughs> it's super fun. Okay, and don't fast forward. We will get to the big item, I promise. Just have patience. Let's get through the rest of the thrift haul real quick, and then I'll show y'all that at the very end. But let me show y'all this. Um, I did pick up this, it's, it just says bread cover. It looks like it is originally from Hobby Lobby, and I haven't looked it up or anything because I seriously just got home, and I'm gonna do this haul real quick. But this is what it says on the back. And I always make homemade bread, so I thought, well, is that it? This may not even be what this is, y'all. So do not laugh at me out in the comments like last week. Okay, so I just have to clarify some things. I had a brain fart last week. Like seriously, I was asking y'all if y'all thought this pot that I was showing you in Goodwill was a chamber pot. But on the bottom, it said like oven and microwave safe. Why in the world would a chamber pot, and if you don't know what a chamber pot is, you can Google it. <laughs> but why would that be oven and microwave safe? I don't know what I was thinking, why I even asked y'all that. Like once I got to the comments and everybody was kind of saying that, I just had to laugh at myself. I mean, sometimes you just have to laugh at yourself. And I was going, why in the world would I even think that, that was a chamber pot if you could put it in the oven and eat food out of it? Y'all, sometimes that, that's just how I am sometimes. I don't, uh, let's just move along. Anyway, so this bread cover is, I think, now, I don't know. I'm going to Google it or if you know, but it came from Hobby Lobby. It was originally, it looks like $6.49 and I paid $1.50 for it at Salvation Army. But you know what? Let's just open it real quick. Okay. So is this literally just what it says? So why I'm asking is because I make homemade bread all the time. I make hamburger buns. I make um, breadsticks, just homemade sandwich bread. It was a cord falling. Um, all sort of things. And what I will do is I will take like a really thin old like diaper that came in a package at Walmart and cover my bread so that the steam can get through it and it don't make it, you know, like wet and yucky. I take it out of the pan and put it on a drying rack. But so is this what this is for to just lay over it? Or is this something to like, I don't know, sew something on? Am I crazy y'all? Or is this literally just something that you would lay over bread after you took it out of the pan after you've baked it. I think that's maybe what it is. It's probably what I'm going to use it for because it does look like it has, you know, tiny little holes where the steam can get through. So yeah, I got this for $1.50 and I'm not really sure if I'm using it for the right thing, but that's what I'm going to use it for anyway. Y'all let me know, is that what this actually is? And then I'm going to try to do some research too, but this video will probably already be up before I can put anything on the screen for y'all on what I find. So y'all are the smart ones though, so y'all let me know. 
Okay, so y'all know. <laughs> How in the world could I leave this beautiful rolling pin for 75 cents, y'all? 75 cents. Um, I have some fun, fun DIY, not DIY. Okay, so thrift flip, I guess DIY, thrift flip DIY projects with some rolling pins to do um, during my Thriftmas videos in December. So I went ahead and grabbed this because I thought, y'all excuse my band-aid over here, I cut my finger. I thought for 75 cents, you can't go wrong. I can turn a 75 cent piece into something that's probably gonna benefit me for much more worth than that. And I could just use it, I do love it. Um, and when we do Christmas cookies, y'all, there is 14, that includes Elizabeth boyfriend, there is 14 in our family now. So when we get together, we're a crew. Like we have a bunch of people. <laughs> so I'm definitely still adding the rolling pins. I cleaned out and got rid of some that I just really didn't love. So I am kind of collecting more that look, you know, really beautiful like this. So I was excited to find this for 75 cents. I mean, I wasn't looking for it. It just happened to be there and it just happened to be so inexpensive. You had to grab it. All right, and yes, I did go ahead and get that lamp base, but I do not plan on keeping this as a lamp. I'm gonna also add this to my Thriftmas makeover video stash, and I'm gonna be turning this into something else because y'all, it is solid. Like this is pretty much solid wood. I think it is made in China and I don't love that. It came from Walmart originally. Here's the sticker um, right here. Let me see if it'll focus right there but it is heavy so I, i'm pretty sure it's solid wood so i just love the bones of this lamp if you can see here it's just beautiful i don't know that i'll do much to like the color of it because i do like the wood look i don't know we'll see when it gets time for that it's just about cooling off enough here that we can get outside and do some paint projects i could do this inside but i just prefer to do my paint stuff outside it was only two dollars and so I was excited to find this little piece to flip, do a little thrift flip on, a little makeover on, because I mean, you could replace all of this, but you can see this is all just, it's all really messed up. I mean, you can replace that and turn this into a lamp if you wanted to, but we're not. Okay, and I did take a minute to just look through their clothes. Their shirts are only like $2.99 and $3.99. So it's much better prices there than it is at Goodwill. You save like a dollar or two on each shirt. So I found this one right here. I thought that this would be pretty. It's really thin. And because we live in Texas here, can y'all feel that? That's very thin. I, you know, just reach through. I'm sure you can tell. Um, but I love that because it stays hot here. Even in the fall, we're still pretty warm. So this will look really pretty. I thought just with over a black shirt, like a little, you know, undershirt and some black leggings or something. I do like to buy my shirts like this, very oversized. I normally am a true large, but I will always buy an extra large or even bigger, just depending on how it fits, because I want it to fit loose, almost like a little jacket. So I did buy this one in, it says XXL, and the brand is Ascend. I don't know anything about that brand, like I said, but I do love the color. And I think this would work, you know, all through the fall and winter season with leggings and boots and stuff. Super cute. Again, it was $2.99. And then I have one more set of things to show y'all before I get onto the fun little item I picked up right at the very end. Um, I just want to share that these are for my little babies and they come over all the time and want to draw and do different things. I got did go ahead and get this little book here, try to get the glare off. This one was $1. It has nothing used up on the inside. As you can see here on the back, it looks like it retailed for $7.99 wherever it came from. And like I said, it is completely empty on the inside. So the kiddos will have fun playing with that when they come over. And I kind of explained to y'all in the thrift store what I plan on doing with this. So I love this book. It was only $1.50. I love Sarah Young books anyway. She has just some of the most beautiful books. Now, I'm gonna show y'all this sticker here on the back. I can't even see what it says because I don't have my glasses on, but right here on the corner is the original tag. So I was excited to get this. So it's gonna go in somebody's little um, Thanksgiving basket to kick off the Christmas season. And I grabbed, because y'all, I think I'm gonna start doing the, um, what did I call them? I did several videos where I did uh, thrifting cookbooks, 
for recipes or something like that. And a lot of y'all liked them. Some of y'all did not, but there was, there was quite a few that still did enjoy those. So I might start doing those again. Now that things have kind of leveled off a little bit as far as school goes and routines, we kind of know where we got to be, when we got to be there, how long we got to be there. It's Elizabeth's senior year and y'all, she is at three different campuses this year. So it is wild, but I got this, all that to say, <laughs> I grabbed this so that maybe I could find some thrifted recipes to make for y'all again. And who doesn't love country cooking? I mean, country cooking is where it's at. That's why I wear a large tiller. But anyway, yeah, I was excited to grab this and it'll be fun to look for some recipes to share with y'all too. So here's a couple pictures in there. Super fun. And then one more that I got was the Betty Crocker's Christmas cookbook. Did I tell you how much that other one was? It was 99 cents. And then this one is 99 cents also. And I thought the same thing. I thought there would be some fun recipes in here that we could do during Thriftmas together. And sh oh my goodness, look what I just turned to. Y'all, I cannot stand snowman buns. Look at this. I cannot even stand it. We have got to try those. So I just love getting old cookbooks like this and trying recipes in them. I think it is fun. I think it is a lost tradition. Pinterest is great, but there's just nothing like a good old fashioned recipe book in my opinion. Okay, so I'm about to share with y'all what I got at the very end. It is so fun. Some of y'all are probably gonna be surprised because I do not normally decorate for Halloween. I have said this more than once. I used to when all of my daughters, I have three daughters, when they were all really small and kind of going through you know, trick-or-treating phases and all that. But the older they got, I just kind of phased it out and just didn't do it anymore. Um, I will add a couple little things here and there, you know, the closer it gets to Halloween just for like a day or two. But I pretty much gave them all of my, you know, lighted things and stuff like that. But now that the babies come over here sometimes, I kind of want to have one or two things maybe sitting by the back door. Or if we have like a little pumpkin painting party over here, I can set this up on the patio and kind of decorate it. I saw it and I did not even realize that it lit up. Let me show y'all. Look at my new friend, y'all. This thing is huge. Look at my head. Look how big this is. This thing, they had just rolled it out. And I asked her, I said, is that stuff right there for sale that you have on that cart? And she said, yes, I'm still pricing it. I said, okay. I said, well, do you mind me asking how much the big pumpkin is? And I didn't even know that it lit up until she um, showed me. And she said, oh, and she didn't know it lit up either. She started kind of just turning it over to put the price on it. She said, oh, $3. And I said, $3, this thing is huge. And I thought, if nothing else, if I can't use it, one of my older daughters who has, you know, all the small kids, they would enjoy it to put on their front porch or something. There was no way I was leaving this big old beautiful guy for $3. So she said, yeah, it's $3. I'll just take $3. She's, she's always really good about pricing things really well. And then she turned it over and she goes, oh, look, Julie, she said it lights up. And I said, even better for three bucks. And the whole way home, I was thinking, this thing... I'm probably going to have to, you know, get one of my little lamps, kind of like you see lit up back there that I get at the thrift store and I buy the little bulbs. And I thought, well, I can take, I had a whole plan, like what I was going to have to do to this thing to make it, you know, light up and work because I never dreamed that it would work. But y'all watch this. Y'all look, look at this. I wonder how much something like this would cost in the retail store. Probably at least $30, if not more, because it is so big. How fun is this? This is just one of the many reasons that I love to go thrifting. I was not looking for anything like this. I really did not need it. But for $3, the joy that it is going to bring on six little kids' faces and probably some young adults, if we're, if we're being honest here, <laughs> faces when we have a little gathering or, you know, a Sunday dinner and do paint the pumpkins or whatever we decide to do because we just do little stuff like that sometimes. The joy that this $3 purchase is going to bring to some of my family is priceless. That's just something that I love about thrifting is you just never know what you're going to find when you go in there. And that makes it so, so fun. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for going thrift shopping with me at Salvation Army today and seeing my thrift haul. There is really nothing that I have today to style for you and show it to you styled, but I do plan on starting to film my fall in love with thrifting series. I don't know if I'm going to do like every day or do, you know, one or two a week. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just kind of play things by ear. 
I, you know, sometimes wonder how I even have a YouTube channel because I really just don't have my life together most of the time or my content. I don't know. I don't schedule things. I just kind of just go with the flow and whatever feels right is what I do because I think that's just the natural way to do it. But anyway, y'all, we hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you back here Friday with a brand new thrifting video.